If you ever use Blender to work on some sort of a project that requires you to use logos, then you already know that you are looking for an SVG format. I mean for your logo. And once you have that, you're gonna have to import it, extrude it, and clean the geometry. It is a whole process and can be sometimes time consuming and frustrating. All of that given that you have the actual SVG file, but sometimes you simply don't. That's why in today's video, I'll be showing you guys a new add-on that makes it possible to generate 3D meshes directly from images. Trace Genius Pro is all about turning any image into a 3D mesh, and this works for logos and really anything that has a distinctive outline. What I like about the add-on is that it cuts all the corners of the tedious process by bringing you all the necessary tools right within the add-on's interface. After installing the add-on, you will now notice that you will get a couple of options that you can work with before proceeding to finalizing your mesh. The first thing is that you would want to change is the style, and you have the option between using field or outline, and they are pretty self-explanatory I think. Field is gonna give you a full mesh and an outline is just gonna trace around the object of your image. So the second setting is just as important because it enables you to invert your images, which works well if your images come with a black background. And it could also be work to get different variations of your meshes. The next setting is probably the most important, and there is the color brightness threshold, which determines how and when the add-on recognizes the image to make it into a mesh. I highly suggest that you play around with these settings and try random values and maybe invert your selection. This way you get something that you will be probably satisfied with. And now after hitting the trace shape, it will do its magic and generate a plane that has clean geometry which is gonna be ready to be extruded and beveled. You can do that by hitting add geometry, which will open up a new side panel enabling you to extrude all your trace geometry and you can even offset your extrusion but I don't recommend you change the value unless you are using the outline style. You also get the option to bevel your edges in addition to changing the bevel resolution. Alright, so now after you are satisfied with your mesh, there is just one final panel that you need to go through and it is finalized panel. Here you will get a couple of features to optimize and clean your geometry. The first thing to note is that the cleanup mesh which will get rid of all the unnecessary edges leaving you with a proper neat topology. The other settings that are worth mentioning and worth messing around with are the settings to change the shading of your mesh, either flat or smooth. Additionally, you can choose your output to either be a mesh or a curve. And finally there is this neat little feature for automatically separating isolated meshes. It should also be noted that the quality of the Trace Genius output is totally dependent on the quality of your images, so in case you have some low quality images, consider upscaling them using some specialized software or some AI tools to get something clean and high quality. And there you have it guys, if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.